We still don't know exactly what caused the disaster earlier this month in a London tower block. But police are looking at changes that were made during a refurbishment which finished last year. When a building is constructed or refurbished, contractors are supposed to build according to a complex system of regulations. Then they get the building signed off by the local authority or an approved inspector. Fire experts tell me the quality of these inspectors can be quite variable. Once the building is back up and running, there is a system of self-policing by landlords and building owners. Many different industry groups have said they have concerns about how fire safety is regulated. For example, it's extremely complicated. Two weeks after the disaster, there's still a debate about whether flammable cladding used on the Grenfell building was actually allowed under the regulations. Builders seem to believe it was, as its use has been widespread up until now. Then there's the failure to update the rules to cater for modern construction methods. This is especially important because attempts to create energy efficient buildings have led to changes in which materials are used. For years, people including MPs, the coroner who carried out an inquest into a 2009 fire and fire safety groups have been calling for changes here. Since Grenfell, there's not yet been a firm promise that regulations will change, but the chances of that happening have certainly increased. There will be a public inquiry into how the Grenfell disaster happened. This will likely take years. The Prime Minister has also said there will be a major investigation into how flammable substances on the outsides of buildings became so common. But ahead of these findings, there's intense pressure to improve fire safety in residential buildings, since residents across the country are now deeply worried. Flammable cladding is being removed from dozens of buildings, and some councils are installing sprinklers in all the tower blocks they own. Experts are warning, however, that the measures must be appropriate to the building in question. Otherwise, large amounts of public money could be spent without big improvements in fire safety. Groups that manage apartment buildings are also reviewing their day-to-day -day safety measures, like making sure that the fire exits are accessible. Deaths through fires in Great Britain have been on a declining trend over the past four decades, according to government data. They've fallen from more than 900 in 1981-82 to, to 367 in 2015-16. Obviously, the Grenfell disaster runs counter to that trend and it may indicate that new fire risks have been created, but it's still worth remembering that different measures to prevent and fight fires have been quite effective in making us safer in our homes. <laughs>